what's good josh but ross back at again with another video and y'all know i've been waiting to see what jim Cornette has to say about the whole cody rose stepping aside for the rock on wwe smackdown i'm very interested to see what's his what his opinion is on uh the initial uh promo segment and and how he felt about it man i've been waiting on this video i know a lot of you guys that are subscribed to jim Cornette um uh are waiting have been waiting on this video so i'm i had to check this out as soon as he dropped this so we're gonna get right into this one we're not even gonna waste any time let's see what Jim Cornette thinks about this whole situation, how it initially started from his initial reactions. But anyway, now we got to the main event of the evening, which was another interview, obviously. <laughs> but at 9.37 p.m. Eastern, I clocked it, Roman Reigns began making his entrance with Paul Heyman and Solo and Jimmy Uso. Mm -hmm. And I know he's a big star. And I know that the entrance is the pomp and pageantry of the thing. Guess what time, how long from the time the entrance started till he spoke his first word, Brian, guess the time elapsed. Six minutes. You are incorrect. Only four and a half. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> four and a half minutes later. That's the one thing about uh, Roman's like entrances you know it's going to take some time. It, it's it's up there with the Undertakers on, you know, the, the pageantry, like you said, and how much time it takes. So usually if his segment's at the end of the show, they're going to give them about, they'll probably start the segment rough, roughly around 9.30 my time, or, well, 8.30 my time, and it's going to take them about five to six minutes for him to get down there. Don't let it be like a, a big pay-per-view event, PLE event, and the ramp is long or WrestleMania. It's going to take him about seven to eight minutes. He's going to milk that time at least damn near. It's, 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 it's become a joke, but at the same time, we understand why they do it. It's to, you know, set up the fact that he's the big guy, the top dog, and he can do that. He can take as much time as he wants to get to the ring because he's, uh, you know, He's been the guy that's carrying, quote-unquote, the company for so long. He spoke his first words. And then we acknowledged him. And then he moved on. And this was brilliant in a number of ways, what he did, because he said, we got to address some of the things that were said on Monday. Mm -hmm. My little brother, Seth Rollins. This was so good. And so, nobody so good. reacted. And then he said, that, that's right, no pop. <laughs> so that was something. How about that? Oh, that was my God. so good. <laughs> Man, don't throw rocks at a man carrying a machine gun, Seth. And I hate that the writers probably told him to say most of those things, but he was wholeheartedly with it. But apparently it didn't get over on the island of relevancy. Yeah. Out there in the... The, the South Pacific. But he says, Seth Rollins says he's got the title, the title, the blah, blah. He's, Roman calls it the loser bracket title. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> I beat all those guys that are contending for that. He told the truth that here's yeah. the heel teller, and it was devastating. Yeah. To the case they made on Raw. Yeah. It was. It was one of those scenes. Once he started talking about that and. How, you know, he's the, you know, that's the loser bracket title. It makes things very questionable, questionable if Cody does want to challenge for that championship against Seth because Roman essentially buried it. <laughs> he said, well, the fans already know. So, geez, man. <laughs> Obviously, what everybody was thinking, because we said a lot of these same things. But uh, so they they have a guy say something on Monday night on purpose and then have the other guy come out and just fucking destroy him on Friday. Yeah. And he said he runs around for two years in his wife wife's clothing and calls himself the guy. Oh, my God. He well, yeah, Seth. I work 10 times less than you and I make 10, ten times, times more money. You people want Seth Rollins money or tribal chief money? He was cooking. Oh my God, stop it. He's already dead. He was cooking, Seth. I'm not going to lie to Just, you. And the, 
toe of the boot just kept kicking him. And you wondered about those comments that Rollins made about him on Monday night. Like, wow, those are a little hard there. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's, and this is, that was the perfect receipt. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, uh, <laughs> so anyway, he says, so Cody can do whatever he wants to do. Cause he's got values. It may, it may not all be about the money with Cody Rhodes. So Cody can either be the very best number two in the world or take another crack at number one. Mm. And I mean, let's just stop there before we go any further. Good Lord. They, again, <laughs> nobody was going to buy Seth's line of nope. goods that he was trying to sell on raw, except if you were the, like the AEW style fan that's like, Oh yeah, he has great matches. Cause it was just bullshit and it was made up and you couldn't get behind it. Mm-hmm. I didn't think they were going to just disembowel and fucking what's circumcise or what's the word I'm searching for? Neuter, <laughs> uh, cut the balls off of yeah. Seth Rollins so verbally, but I think Roman may have been just a tad bit personally offended. It's kind of like when Lawler got hot, when Jimmy Hart said, what do you do with a horse? When he breaks his leg, you shoot him. Did you see the video? I forget when it aired on this show, but it was Cody and Seth Rollins. It was Rollins doing commentary, talking about the various champions of the NWA and the WWE. Once again, do you want to be the Hulk Hogan champion or the Ric Flair champion, the Dusty Rhodes champion? All of a sudden, they had a Ric Flair montage. I was like, what is this? <laughs> and I stopped the fast forward to see it. And it was all building up that promo. It was well, referring to that promo, I guess. And see, they're, they're being too smart for their own good and that they're... Uh, they can't build up the secondary title, uh, especially while Seth is the first and only owner, uh, only owner, <laughs> first and only owner of it. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be nearly as big or as important to the fans or anybody else as the ones, ones that Roman Reigns are wearing. Or and, were- and we, we kind of knew that once again, WWE booked themselves in this corner with having Roman have both the belts at the time. So they're really, they and once they unified it, it was over. So they had to. They didn't really have to, but Roman was working less dates, so he wasn't going to be on Monday Night Raw like that. He what you know, he's only um, with SmackDown right now. So they essentially Raw didn't have a top champion outside of Gunther, like a main top champion. That's really what it was. They booked themselves in this corner, and we knew. Once they created the championship, the championship looks great, but we knew, the fans knew, this is just a secondary title. Well, really, before they unified the belts, a third world championship title. That's literally what it was. And not to discredit Seth, Seth's been doing the best he can with that championship, but when we think of who has the top championship in the company, no matter how many great matches Seth has, the lineage of that championship doesn't really even exist. <laughs> it starts with Seth so far. And we all know Roman has the, the top premier championship with the lineage and everything else that comes with it. Unfortunately, that's just how they booked themselves into this situation. So or is wearing or whatever the goddamn grammar is. Yeah. So they're just tearing down their big one, trying to build up their little one, aren't they? Who knows? Well, anyway, when he said you want to be the very best number two or take another crack at number one, Cody music. Mm -hmm. And he gets a big pop and he makes his entrance and they go to the break in the middle of an interview segment because it's already been going about eight minutes and they got a lot more to go. Bad uh, break. But the the cliffhanger is who is Cody Rhodes going to choose when he comes back Mm -hmm. or when we come back. And they come back three and a half minutes later and the music's still playing and Cody's just now stepping in the ring. So he must have stopped to have a coffee or whatever. <laughs> and the big Cody chance. And boy, howdy, they're ready to see this fucking thing. Yeah. And he asks Roman, can we have the ring to ourselves? And Paul and Solo and Uso step out. And that's when Cody tells the story. I took counsel this week. I talked to family and friends and legends. And Seth has made great points in his argument, but I disagree. It's not the Hollywood title. It's the title that my daddy had in his hands, and that's the title I still want. 
Mm -hmm. And everybody thinks, oh, here we go. And then Cody says that, Roman, you say all of this is yours. So finishing my story is taking everything away from you. Yeah. I was like, and okay, I want that now. title. We cook it. And I'm cooking. coming for it because I want everything, but not at WrestleMania. I was like, huh? And that's when people kind of go, what? <laughs> Even Roman was surprised. Yeah, he's like, yes. Hey, not at WrestleMania. What you talking and about? And. He says, I took counsel from one individual that I talked to that knows you very well. And I, yep. And boom, the rocks music hits. Yep. And Roman's was, face changes. The speculations was real. And, and in a realistic way, not a rah, rah, rah way. And the place goes batshit. Mm -hmm. And here comes the rock. And now, by the way, The Rock's music starts playing at 9.52 p.m. SmackDown goes off the air at 9.58 because they're on network time. And nothing else was said. Nope. Rock makes his entrance, shakes hands with Cody. They hug. He whispers something in Cody's ear. Cody smiles. And then leaves, turns back and nods, sort of like a... He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Look back. And Rock does the slowly I turn to Roman and the music comes down mm -hmm. and the Rocky chants go. And he does the face off with Roman. First, they're all the way across the ring and they get a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. And finally, as they're about six inches from nose to nose, we go off the air. Yeah. So the last six minutes on the air, nobody spoke. It would just, but that's the thing is we'll dissect in a moment the logic of it or the reasons for it or the potential backlash from it or whatever mm -hmm. the case. But a lot what of a backlash. fucking two segment piece of business here, if you just want to talk about making people go batshit about something in the building, in the room, in the moment. Mm -hmm. Well, part of it, well, part of it is that they've stacked it so that the rock gets these kind of reactions because he keeps coming out as a surprise. Mm -hmm. The surprise pop is different than the advertised pop. Yes. I th I'm swallowing still. I thought you were going some uh, further with no. that. <laughs> but I mean, every appearance he's made recently, it's a surprise appearance where all of a sudden his music hits and people react to it. Yeah, yeah. but if it's Tits McGee and the music plays, people are going to fucking throw goddamn fucking stale jelly donuts at him. He's still a star to get the, oh shit, it's him. Right. I mean, I'm sure the people in Birmingham didn't expect The Rock to show up. No, that wasn't, that wasn't part of the, uh, the advertised program. They didn't realize how desperate he is. But the, <laughs> see, you're gonna. Here we go. <laughs> I'm I'm being neutral because I see both sides of this thing, and you could have bigger troubles than what they've got as far as. Oh goddamn! Which major star do we put in this main event that sold a hundred thousand tickets already live? But, but this as, as a performance, Roman was fantastic here, mm -hmm. and then. Cody, he's over, and they want to see it, and they've got him to where they want to see it. And I thought he performed this well, even though that it is on the face of it, the surface of it, we don't understand why he made this decision. Yeah, we still don't. We do because we know the backstage news and the out-of-the-ring news, but yeah. just on the television but presentation. In yeah, in kayfabe, yeah. it makes no in sense. In kayfabe, yeah. <laughs> well, it could. I'm going to tell you in a minute how it could eventually, but right now it doesn't make a lot of sense to the average fan. Go, well, we wanted to see you do it, and mm -hmm. we like The Rock, but we, you, you know. So the segment was great, it, and it, you know, they've been doing ratings on SmackDown when you get star after star after star. Last week was almost two and a half million people. I'm pretty sure this one, when the numbers come out, will be a, a big number and probably yeah. massive at the end because you, at the very least, even if Rock was a surprise, you knew that Cody and Roman were in the, in the middle of the ring face-to-face. -face. So they're mm -hmm. doing 
big numbers for this, and it was a good segment on the program. All right, and that's his uh, initial takes on the whole situation. Um, once again, when it initially happened, for me and Dub, when I was watching it, it was a shock. It was like, holy shit, The Rock's there. This is going to be very interesting, this epic stare-off. But there were still a lot of questions that needed to be answered, and we still really don't know. We're probably not going to know into the uh, WrestleMania media coverage. So I definitely wanted to just check out and see what his initial thoughts were um about this whole situation because it was wild this was a it was a, a very entertaining segment that had the wrestling world talking and they're still talking about it so it worked the question is will this backlash be something that um trends all the way to wrestlemania and could this mess up the main event for wrestlemania if they do go rock and roman we're gonna see if that's the plan match uh, officially so we just gotta wait for things to play out but comment down below let me know what other videos and uh um clips you guys want me to check out or react to or if there's any other wrestling news stories you want me to give my opinion on let me know down below i right, appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on next one peace <laughs>